Hey guys, welcome back to the investing channel. Thanks for watching. Um, I've had a few people that have requested information on how I set up my uh, Excel spreadsheet. So this video is going to go through that with you guys. So have a pen and piece of paper handy or have uh, your, your Excel spreadsheet uh, set up, a blank brand new spreadsheet set up, and we will uh, go through it together. I'll share with you guys what my columns are, and I'll also share with you my formulas for how to you know calculate everything. So if you guys are into trading, if you guys are into crypto, uh, uh, stock market, day trading, whatever it is that you're into, if you're into investing, click over here, subscribe to the channel, and then also smack the notification bell so that you're notified on the next video that I come up with, okay? So let me share my screen with you and we will get started. Let's see, here we go. Okay, so here's my uh, Excel spreadsheet. I just, I started off from scratch a long time ago. You can see I've got a lot of trades in here and I've kind of changed my sub spreadsheet as I've been, you know, moving through things. Um, so this is what I'd like you guys to do. I'd like you guys to set up these columns. In the first column, I'd like, uh, you know, on A number one, put the date. Uh, column two, put the coin, the name of the coin. The next one is how many coins, and I'll share with you guys. Don't worry about what, how many coins do I want to jump in on. I'll show you how you can calculate it so you can get a quick feel of where you need to be with your budget, okay? This is the entry point in which I jump into a trade. This is the uh, take profit portion of where uh, I want to sell at. And I always, as soon as I jump into a trade, I always put my take profit in. I don't want to just sit there and, and lay back. However, I have laid back on certain coins and I'll share with you guys up above what some of those ones are. Now, remember, this isn't advice. This is just my journey. I'm just sharing with you guys how I'm moving through things, what I'm, how I'm figuring things out and where my profits are. So you can see that I'm making money too and you guys can do it also. Uh, the next column is how much I have invested in the trade, okay? Not how much profit, but how much I have invested, okay? The next one is going to be uh, my profit. I'll just write it in here for you guys, profit. And this one is the percentage of my profit, how much I made on my money, okay? Rather than it just sitting in a bank account, earning 1% like it was for so many years. Um, anyway. And then I mark down when it's cleared, once I've sold, okay, once it's taken profit. And some of the ones like up above, I have holding on those. And I'll share with you guys what those are in a moment. So if you guys are liking this so far, please give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that um, I'm providing helpful information. Okay, um, just a quick, few quick things what you're looking at here. Um, this is how much I've made just since December 24th. I don't have all my money in on active, well, on trades that I'm trying to quickly take profit on. I have some money in on ones that I'm holding. And I will share with you guys that on another video as to why I went from exclusively jumping in, jumping out to holding some more coins, okay? I'll share with you guys that on the next video. So remember, uh, subscribe to the channel over here now and then smack the notification bell. Okay, so we've got date, coin, number of coins, entry point, take profit, the amount I have invested initially, the amount I took profit on, and then the percentage, and then whether it clears, it's cleared or not. Okay, so the first one, obviously just put the date. The second one, put the coin that you're gonna jump into trade on. The third one, just put a random number in there for now, 20, 10, whatever it is, you can change it later. Uh, this is my entry. I put in how much I'm buying it at when I jumped into the trade. And then as soon as I take, as soon as I jump into a trade, I've already figured out, you've probably seen this on my other videos. I let you guys know where I'm entering, when I'm exiting, okay? So I'm putting, here's my exit on this one. And then how much my initial investment is. So for this one, just put in a number. For this one, put in your entry. For this one, put in your amount that you wanna sell at. And then uh, invested is a formula, okay? So let me blow it up a little bit here so you can see it up here. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the amount of coins times my entry. And that leaves me with how much I have invested, okay? Um, I'll, I'm gonna revisit that in just a moment, okay? So please stay with me. My profit, it's a little bit bigger of a formula. What I'm doing is I'm taking, I'm putting equal sign Right over here. Remember, look up here if you can see it. 
I'm doing an equal sign. And then what I'm doing is I'm doing my number of coins times my take profit in brackets minus my number of coins times my entry point. And let me share with you what it looks like. So right here, I've got uh, my 753. See, I've got my number of coins here. And then I've got it times my, my uh, the amount I sold at minus my number of coins times the amount I bought in at. And that leaves me with my profit. So what I do is if I come into a new coin, let's say I come in here and what I do is I usually will copy the line before it and I'll just paste it in down here. And then, then let's say I want to, let's say I want to jump into a coin. I want to do $1,500. So I've got my entry point. I entered it in. I know what my exit point is. So I've entered it in, but I just need to know how many coins do I need to put in? So what I do is I just start throwing random numbers in here. I'll throw 90 in. I'll see over here that it's 825, but I want to do 1500. So what I'll do is I'll go 130. I'm at 11 over here. I'm at 1192. I'll do, uh, I'll do 200. I'm at eight. Okay. I'm at 1800. That's more than what I want to be. So I'll do 175. I'll just do this, you know, 170. I'm getting closer. 165. Okay. 165 brings me in roughly around 1500. And now I know I'm going to jump in. I'm going to go in and put my order in at 165 coins. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll put in, I'll just leave it blank because it hasn't cleared yet. And then I'll do the next one. Come over here, highlight everything, and I'll do my next trade. So I'm going to remove these two for now, just so I don't lose anything. Let me move this down. Okay, so the one I just did a moment ago, I bought 115 coins of sushi. I jumped in at 917. I'm selling at 979. My total investment is 1,054. And if it, once it takes profit, I'll make 71.30 and I'll make 7% on my money. And you can see here, just since the 24th of December, just a few days ago, because I kind of held off for December because everything was just dropping down. Uh, in just like six days, I've made 419 bucks. I would have made probably an extra $300. I'd probably make around 700 if I would have held these two. And I share with you guys that on the prior video I just uploaded a few minutes ago. Um, so that is my spreadsheet. And I, I name it, I save it. I'm using, uh, if you don't have Excel, you can get it for free. Um, you can get uh, Google Sheets, which is what this is. It's for free. You just have to have a Gmail account and go search, go to Google and search Google Sheets. And then I name it. And then I just come in here and then I do other things. I'll do, uh, you know, what, how much I'm holding on silver. I bought tangible silver. Um, I'm investing in other areas because we all know things are happening around the world. I feel something big is coming. And so I am moving my money out of the banking system into stocks. I'm moving it into silver and I'm moving it into crypto. And a lot of these banks that say crypto is nothing, it's bogus, it's not, it's not going to last. On, when they're saying this, they're over here on the back end and they're setting up infrastructures to accept and use crypto. So don't be fooled by their, their news press, their press releases. Okay, guys, don't be fooled by it. So let me share with you guys real quick some of the ones I'm holding. Now, you don't have, I'm not suggesting you guys do. This isn't advice. This is just some, some I'm holding. Sometimes I hold, sometimes I might go, you know what, I changed my mind and I'm going to go after something else. But as of right now, I bought some Shiba Inu. I'm only in it. Um, actually, I think I'm holding more than that. Okay, yeah. So I bought a few different Shiba Inus here. I maybe ended $160, not much. Um, Crow, which is crypto.com, which is owned by um, uh, crypto.com. Crow is crypto.com, and it's they've they've just bought the rights to name the Staples Arena outside of Los Angeles. So look at the price; it's at 76 cents. I mean, you don't think that with that kind of advertising at all the NBA games and at the concerts at, that Staples Arena throws on annually, that this price is not gonna jump. It's, I feel it's gonna jump, that's my opinion. And then I've also bought some uh, metaverse coins, just kind of holding on to those long-term. I also own, um, uh, let's see, I own uh, XRP, um, 
and I own another one too. And then I've just got some different tabs here of things that I'm kind of keeping track of. Um, XRP. So right now I primarily buy everything on Coinbase Pro. But Coinbase Pro right now is not offering XRP. So I bought that over at Uphold, U-P-H-O-L-D. You can see the spelling of it right here. That's where I bought it at. So depending upon the coin you want to go after, not every, um, not every trading platform offers that coin. So you might have to go out and buy somewhere else. So always, guys, manage your money, spread your risk out. Don't put everything into one coin and don't put all your money into crypto. Uh, put it into multiple things. Um, I bought some tangible silver. It's roughly at $25 an ounce now. I think the real price of silver, if uh, those in charge were not keeping it uh, low by selling paper silver, selling it 500 times over, um, I think the price of silver would be somewhere up over uh, $5,000. So my hope is that with everything that's going on around the world, things are in play. And my hope is that if they do change, because the monetary system is changing, that I have one of my investments will be lined up where it needs to be and uh, will help us out. So thanks guys for watching. Give, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll uh, let you guys know the next time I jump into a coin or one of these coins down here, take profit here probably in the next couple of days. All right. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.